welcome back to my channel i know it's a little different um i'm outside as you can see goodwill is behind me but anyway guys this is melody i'm so excited uh, on this channel i talk about all things fashion and style and today is a little different we're headed thrifting this thrift trip um, is not like my typical thrift trip this trip as you can see we are taking a chartered bus we're headed to um alabama it's the unclaimed baggage store i've not been before i've heard you know a lot about it i'm super excited i do have a few things on my shopping list that i'm hoping to find but i'm also open to see what other you know unique pieces that i can find and i'm taking you guys with me so let's go My name is Karen Duclosel, and I am the founder of Thrifting Atlanta, and I am so happy to see each and every one of you here today on the Thrifting Atlanta bus tour. Um, if it is your first time, raise your hand one more time. Let's give you guys a woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. They buy their inventory from the airline industry, from um, cruise ships, um, unclaimed cargo so they don't get their inventory donated so that's why their price points are a little higher but the best part is you're getting a lot of like designer brands right you're getting more of the you know the good quality pieces and you don't have to dig as much to find those um, those gems <laughs> unclaimed baggage and I'm about to head in to kind of see some of the things that they have the first place that I'm headed to is going to be the jewelry section So in the building that I am in, um, we only have I think, women's, children's, accessories like jewelry pieces and things of that nature. And then just outside on the, I think across the street is the men's section. So I am gonna head over there, but first, shoes. <laughs> Guys, this place also has like an espresso cafe so you can you know talk kind of walk around a little bit see what's going on and then stop in at the cafe so right now i'm headed up to um like the electronic section like eyewear and things of that nature <laughs> Never before been professionally taught. 
process by our team here. So you're going to open it up and you're going to decide what we're going to do with the content. Are you excited? Yes. All right. Sure. You sound excited. <laughs> so this is somebody's lost luggage. So first, I'm going to give you this lovely orange apron to put on to protect your clothes. And we're also going to put on some gloves. We don't know what kind of a person this was. So we're going to make sure we stay clean. Now I will let you know, just to ease your mind, one team member has gone through the suitcase just to make sure there's nothing harmful, dangerous, or overly embarrassing in there. In our operations facility, we, our team members actually decide from 20 to 30 different decisions on what we're going to do with a specific item. But to keep it a little simple for you, we're going to go through four. So you're going to decide if we're going to sell it, if we're going to clean it, if we're going to give it away, or if we're going to throw it away. So about a third of everything we get is sold, a third is recycled, and a third is donated. So we try to redeem items and find a new life for them if at all possible. I'm awesome. You can go ahead and start opening up the suitcase and we'll see who is traveling. Here we have what looks like a little cosmetic bag. So that what we would do is we would look at the condition, we would look at the brand, and if it meets our high standards, then we would sell it. So we can go ahead and put that in our sell it bin right over here. Okay, so it looks like they were a reader. So we would make sure that all the pages are still in good condition, make sure we flip through it where there aren't any boarding passes or tickets or anything stuck in there. And if it's good to go, then we would sell that as well. All right, guys, so we are back on the bus. Um, we have shops, and now we're on the way back to Atlanta. Um, unclean baggage for me was, it was okay. It was definitely okay. I did find some Ray-Ban glasses that my husband had been wanting a pair of Ray-Bans. So I did get those, and um, a lot of other people found some really, really cute pieces. So. Check off your bucket list. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna head back to Atlanta. <laughs>